this is my attempt this is my uh, video recording for uh, the internet of things in a healthcare context um, i will begin by plugging in my webcam to one of my nodes which is a raspberry pi uh, you can see here that i have a node running here um, and i have another hub running just side by side um, my webcam has now been plugged in so if i just Uh, we can just we can see that video recording has begun and if you just go to the browser I can see that yeah I'll just move my hand there and you can see that video recording has begun. Uh, I'll just stand by so that you can you can have a slightly longer video. Right, so that's a sample video that that's been recorded right now. Uh, I just change my director to flash error. Oh. So that's that's the video file that's currently being recorded. Um, if I go to these are the this is one of the other files that's that that's supposed to be recorded that's supposed to be uploaded as well so in order to simulate a complete video file I'll just disconnect the the webcam so that it can close that video file and we can we can continue processing it Right, so as it closes the file, which might take a little bit of time, I'll, I'll just explain uh, the process that's being followed here. Uh, there's, there's a couple of sensors that could be connected to each node in a hospital in rural areas, such as a BP monitor, a heart rate monitor. Uh, the data from this is, is auto autonomously collected onto the Raspberry Pi, uh, which acts as a node. And the data is automatically transferred um, using the optional two methods that I've listed, you know, using a UAV and a wireless card, so which simply flies over the nodes, or using just a flash drive that you plug into the node and automatically gathers the data. Here I'm going to demonstrate uh, the process of using a flash drive. You can see there that the file has been moved, and if we go to the buffer, you can see that the video file is now now written into the buffer. So I'll, I'll just take a flash drive and plug it in. If I go to mount, uh, you can see that's that's a plugged in flash drive. Uh, I've written a script to automatically capture all the data, move the data from the buffer to the flash drive. Um, so if you go to buffer now, you can see it's empty and it will automatically unmount it after a couple of seconds. <laughs> There we go, it's it's now unmounted. So I'll I'll just plug it into my PC so that you can have a look that the files are actually copied. Go to this. These are the files that have been stored, you know. This this is the video. That's my head moving. Um, just eject this and now I'll take that to my hub which is another raspberry pi unit that i have set up i'll plug it in there so now focus your attention to the other the other terminal that i have running um, we can see here that my flash drive is mounted if we go to flash here You can see that the files are now actually copied. And if I here you can see these are the files. These are the same files that are here. Right. Uh, right now, unplug the flash drive because it's been unmounted. 
and if you give it a couple of seconds maybe a minute or two because my internet's quite slow the files from buffer should be uploaded onto the service bus so there you go you can see that you can see that these files that were here are no longer here and if I change my directory to go to the uh, uploaded folder you can see that new files have been added here um, which are the new files that we just copied from from the first hub um, now it's uh, now this this means all the data is actually the video that we just took has been uploaded to the cloud onto the Azure service bus uh, and can be accessed from anywhere in the world, which is an amazing thing uh, to be implemented across health centers in developing countries because this means that we can essentially download all the data in, in much larger data centers or much larger hospitals where more experienced doctors can uh, process the data, more, more resources are available to process this data. Instead of, uh, instead of downloading the data, you know, on, on, a, on a different PC, I'm just going to show you how you uh, I've written a script to auto automatically download messages of the service bus um, and how I can just download these messages on, on a Raspberry Pi. This can be done on any any computer or any processor that can run Python. Uh, so you could do this on your own PC, you could do it on a MacBook, you could you could do it on, a, on another microprocessor such as a BeagleBone. I'm just going to use my first node as a sample. Uh, but there's a script that I've written that can easily be, you know, uh, implemented so I'll just quickly copy that script that I have um, if you give it a couple of seconds there we go so the images that we just uploaded the image rather the images that we just took were automatically transferred to the USB drive then transferred to the node and then upload it onto the service bus without without the requirement for any human interaction um, which which is pretty phenomenal um, if we go to we just take this URL now and come here download this and voila that's that's the same video that we just took that's now accessible to anyone in the world uh, this is a, this is just a sample scale model of you know using a webcam which is the only sen uh, essentially sensor resource that I had at hand which the same could be done in hospitals with with numerous sets of sensors um,